Hi there. Have you ever sung a duet before? Maybe you've wondered, how can I sing really strong so I can hold my part in a duet? Well, one of the main muscles we need to engage is our diaphragm. What is our diaphragm? The diaphragm is a dome-shaped sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen. When we breathe in, the diaphragm moves downwards so our lungs can fill up with air and we can support and project the sound. Let's have a go at some vocal exercises to help us to project our voice by engaging the diaphragm. The first exercise sounds like you're shushing someone to be quiet. Sounds like this. Shall we try it together? Hands on your hips. Could you feel the diaphragm engaging as you did that? Let's try another rhythm. Let's do it together. Good job. The diaphragm is excellent for supporting consonants. We'll need those for later. But first I want to talk to you about different articulations. Articulation is how you sing or play the notes. We know how to sing and interpret the notes by reading the articulation markings. We can vocalise really short and detached, called staccato, just like this. Let's try it together. Hands on your hips. Excellent work. In music, we show staccato articulations with dots above the note heads, like this. There's also another way to sing which helps to increase the beauty in the line of the sound. This articulation is called legato, just like this. Should we have a go together, alternating between and sh. Let's try it. Breathing in. Can you hear how we connect those sounds? Legato can be represented in the sheet music with a slur or simply by the word legato. Let's try actually singing some staccato and legato articulations now. I'm going to sing four staccato notes on the sound pa. Then I want you to copy me. Are you ready? Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Excellent. Here's another exercise with quicker rhythms. Great job. Now let's try singing some legato phrases on the sound ma. I'll go first and then you copy. Ma, 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 ma. Ma, 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 ma. Excellent. Let's try some quicker rhythms. I'll go first. Ma, 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 ma. Good job. I think you're ready for some opera now, and I think I know just the piece. This next duet uses a combination of both staccato and legato articulations. It comes from The Magic Flute by Mozart, which was actually the last opera he ever wrote. Did you know Mozart wrote his first opera when he was only 11 years old? Probably even earlier. He was a child prodigy and would go and entertain the royal families of Europe. So by the time Mozart wrote The Magic Flute in 1791, he had really mastered the genre of opera. This particular duet is between the characters Papageno and Papagena, two bird-like creatures who by the end of the opera finally end up finding each other. Let's learn the part of Papagena together, which is the top stave. This duet starts off as a call and response. First, Papageno sings Pa, Pa, Pa. 
Then Papagena replies, Pa, pa, pa. Then Papageno sings, Pa, 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 pa. And Papagena replies, Pa, 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 pa. And so on. Let's go through the work. I'll play Papageno's part and sing your part. Staccato singing at the opening. Let's go through it together. Pa, 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 the staccato delivery of each character's name is designed to sound like clucking birds. This is a very clever trick that Mozart used to highlight the bird-like nature of Papageno and Papagena. Then after you finish the staccato singing with each other's names, we sing with text, legato. Let's go through that part. Here at last now I have found you Yes, at last, now I have found you. Let's go through the duet one last time, all the way through. job. I think you're ready to sing to a performance track now. I'll be singing the part of Papageno while you sing the character of Papagena. Make sure to follow the conductor and listen out for your part on the piano. Are you ready? Let's go. Thank you so much for singing with me today. Singing on your own can be wonderful, but there's certainly a lot of fun to be had by singing with a friend or as part of a chorus. If you don't already sing with a group, why don't you find out how? You can sing as part of a school choir or by joining a singing group outside of school, or maybe even with West Australian Opera. Until next time, happy singing. Bye. <laughs>